Hi, my name's Ron, and I am going to start a video log about my heart. Um, on July the 14th, I had to have a pacemaker implanted in my chest, right here. It's about that long. Um, it lays at a diagonal, lays on a diagonal uh, slant. It's about the size of my thumb. It is an external pacemaker, and it regulates... Uh, my heartbeat. Um, I was diagnosed with having a very rare disease called Wolf Parkinson's White Syndrome. Also, I have another disease called Lazy Sinus, sinus Node Syndrome. And what it does is it stops the heart from beating normally. It will actually stop the heart from beating completely. And in some cases, it has happened. Um, my, uh, I had it read on August the 1st. It hadn't had a lot of attacks. Uh, actually, I had 116 from um, July the 14th to August the 1st. And uh, they were VTAP, which triggered, um, oh no, atrial fibrillation, which triggered VTAP, sorry. And uh, a couple times my heart had stopped, but the pacemaker, they sped it up, and uh, it, it should have fixed it. However, I had it read on August the 30th, I'm sorry, not August the 30th, November, or yeah, November the 1st I had it read, and um, on August the 30th, my heart stopped for 30 seconds, and several times before then it had stopped, uh, not quite that long, however, that can cause blood clots to form in the heart, and then when the heart goes back to pumping again, send them out, they'll go to the lungs or the brain, cause you to have a stroke, or a hematoma in the lung, which will kill you. Uh, thank God that did not happen. Um, so, on the 30th of this month, which is November, they are going to remove this pacemaker here on my chest, above the heart. They're going to remove this one, and they're going to put a new one in, and it's going to go right here, um, underneath my collarbone. It's uh, just under the size of a pack of cigarettes. Uh, the collarbone is to protect it, and it's going to be fed through subclavian uh, vein, which goes down into the heart, and they are going to run a catheter into my leg, up to the heart, and they are going to do a procedure called cardiac ablation. They're going to burn out the sinoatrial node and the AV node, as well as burning circles around all of the arteries that are entering and exiting the heart so that no signal can escape or get into the heart. And the new pacemaker will be set about 70 beats a minute. Right now my heart is fluctuating between 32 and 45 beats a minute. An average person, if they're setting still, is about 60 to 70. And uh, hopefully after the surgery is done, I will be able to post immediately. Um, I'm going to start on December the 1st, and each day I'm going to give an update of how I feel, how the healing is going, and how um, the pacemaker is making me feel. Uh, a lot of people have concerns about how the pacemaker works, if it's going to make me feel better, if uh, you know it's going to give me quality of life, because right now I have no quality of life. I can't get up and move around for more than 10 or 15 minutes and I feel absolutely exhausted and have to take a nap. I've turned into a hermit for the past year. I haven't really left my home and uh, I'm just really ready to get out and enjoy life again. I do know that the uh, mortality rate is is kind of high for uh, this type of procedure, but I'm young. I'm not an older individual and I'm not overweight, so that helps. Uh, it brings the numbers down. But anyway, I'll keep you updated and posted. Thanks, and have a great day.